Today I feel uh, Qatari. Today I feel Arab. Today I feel African. Today I feel uh, gay. That was FIFA's president, Gianni Infantino, with uh, the kind of argument an infant would make to try to provide cover for the fact that FIFA is doing the uh, World Cup in Qatar, which is a pretty anti-gay country. <laughs> so uh, let's get to the details of, of why he said this. Apparently, he was trying to show love and support for communities and people who you know, aren't treated so well in this particular country. And uh, we do have a little bit more from his uh, painful press conference. Let's take a quick look at that right now. Today I feel disabled. Today I feel a migrant worker. As a child at school, I was bullied because I had red hair. And I had these red, how do you call them? Uh, freckles. Freckles. I was bullied, of course, for that. Plus, I was Italian, so imagine. Didn't speak good German. And what do you do then? You lock yourself down, you go into your room, you cry. And then you try to make some friends. Yeah, you know, in uh, in Qatar, if you are caught engaging in gay acts, you face three years in prison. I don't think you face three years in prison for having freckles and red hair. But nonetheless, after that, uh, it got worse because he said, of course, I'm not Qatari. I'm not an Arab, I'm not African, I am not gay, I am not disabled. Well, thank you for that, uh, we, we figured as much. Yeah. Uh, so he also said uh, as part of that speech, uh, I feel immigrant workers or migrant workers. I was like, don't feel anyone. Okay, like this is this is very ill advised. You okay. mean the ones who died uh, building the infrastructure yes. for FIFA? So oh. you apparently didn't feel them very much, which is good news. Okay, yeah. so um, I understand where he was going with it. Anna's gonna give you more details here, but this is somebody should have tackled him before he said this. Go ahead, Anna. Yeah, so a, jur a journalist later said to him, judging by social media, your comments that you feel gay has caused some surprise to many in the gay community. Because they're saying that if you really were gay, you would not be able to say that because you would be admitting to effectively illegality. So the reference there is the illegality of being a gay person in Qatar. Uh, and so FIFA's director of media relations, Brian Swanson, concluded that the conference was a personal message of support. Okay, so uh, I've seen a lot of criticism of Gianni Infantino since I've joined FIFA, in particular from the LGBTQI community. I'm sitting here in a privileged position on a global stage as a gay man here in Qatar. We have received assurances that everybody is welcome. Just because Gianni is not gay does not mean he does not care, he does care. I mean, I just, okay, I, I wanna make sure I don't get this wrong. But I remember reading reports about how the decision was made to host or to have Qatar host FIFA this year. Mm -hmm. And there was some corruption involved, right? Yes. There was some money exchanges. Yeah, <clears throat> so that's an open fact now. So, so gay rights, money, no, gay no. rights, money. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> so first of all, FIFA, shush, shush, stop talking. We all know it was because of the money. It, the corruption is out in the open now. So for you guys pretending that you're doing it because you're Qatari and gay, Please, you're insulting everybody's intelligence. So this is not one of those things where it's like, oh, FIFA's corruption, everybody, it's legendary, everybody knows about it, but it's not proven. In this case, it is proven, right? So stop lying, you look absurd, like, oh, I care so much about gay people. And so that guy said, we have received assurances. 
Well, first of all, you also received assurances that they you could drink beer during the games. And it turns out at the end, they pulled that assurance, didn't they? And even if you did receive assurance that you would not be in prison for being gay while you were at Qatar because of the World Cup, did gay people re receive assurance overall at Qatar that they will not be in prison? No, they didn't, did they? No, so you're saying the privileged, powerful people mm -hmm. that come to Qatar have received assurances for whatever they're worth from a dictator uh, that they will not be in prison, but all other gay people will be in prison for the rest for for as long as these people remain dictators. It's the law in Qatar. So mm -hmm. don't lie to us about what the law is. It's super clear. You chose to have this in a very hateful country. So look, I was born Muslim, and that cuts in both directions here. I grew up Muslim, so I don't hate. To say hating Muslims would be absurd. I would be hating myself, my mom, etc. Right. At the same time, I have a hard ban on the Gulf nations that are all led by dictators. We mince words with like, oh, royalty and king and monarchy. No, they're dictators, flat out, period, right? And so the one of the directions it cuts is that I'm an apostate. So I now am an atheist, I left Islam. What am I, nuts? They're dictators if I go to that country and they figure out, hey, that guy has said that Islam is wrong, right? It's very possible that they would execute me. And you know what would happen? People would go, "Oh my god, I can't believe they did that. Let's protest for a minute and a half. And then America would go, yeah, but they still have the natural gas under Qatar. And so we're just gonna continue to service them and pleasure them and lie on their behalf. And look at what they did with MBS in Saudi Arabia. So those dictators will butcher you the minute that they get a chance and then have their lackeys in the West cover for them. So as this guy is seemingly saying something nice, like, hey, look, I empathize with all these different groups. He's saying it in an awkward way, but we understand what his message is. Understand that he's lying and doesn't mean a word of it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.